who's in the stream we're gonna start the other part of the stream now where i take questions and things like that so we're not actually ending it here that was just kind of like so i can clip it together uh for youtube all right manny is here a bunch of other people are here so um you know uh what did you think about the lesson um i'm trying like different formats on how to do these uh, tutorials and um, so like what I figured I'd do is rather than walk through every little step over and over again which makes like a 30 minute long video uh, I just want to do it line by line and then have the viewer uh, rewatch part of the video I think that works um, a little bit better to try to keep the video from being um, too too long because I think people see a long video and they uh, get intimidated but uh, there's definitely more of these types on the way especially for um, 4th of July, I believe, next week's live stream. Uh, we have one on Sunday, too. But on Friday at the same time, uh, we're going to do, um, I don't know, if you go to LessonsOnTheWeb.com and you go to the community page. Hmm, it's not working out. But anyway, if you go to the community page, you can see uh, the calendar and uh, look at it from there. All right, let's see what everybody has to say. Oh, KC is actually in a stream. Great to see you. I believe I, I've i seen you before, right? You were in a stream like a few months ago, I think, and I think I, I might have seen your comments. I, I recognize the name KC, definitely. Oh, great, great. Yeah, so I will do the whole thing again um, or, or as I, you know, finish up the lesson for all these tutorials and to give you the overall experience, even though it's very hard for me to see the music when it, I do that, but it works out just fine. So uh, not a big deal, and I'm uh, glad you appreciate that part. I think the co the colored... Uh, yeah, Casey, if you check the... Uh, I might play it once before we leave. Maybe I'll play us out with this today. I think that's pretty appropriate, so I'll play it for you one more time, but if you want to check out the recording uh, of this video, you can, uh, you know, look as I walk you through uh, each part of the song. But yeah, certainly I can uh, play that for you. And then I also think uh, the light-up keys that I've added, I think, really help uh, learn the song as well. Oh, thank you, Manny. Great to have you back, by the way. I noticed you were gone, like, for a couple of weeks, maybe a week. Uh, I just noticed you weren't here at the last uh, few ones, and that's totally cool with me. All right, and now, does anybody have any, like, general questions? Like, do you have any questions about, you know, lessons on the web? Do you have any questions about... You know, just something you want me to explain maybe really quick, um, or maybe, you know, what uh, what's happening uh around the uh the channel um so i'm free for any questions that anybody wants to ask or maybe some other videos you'd like to see um you know i do have a schedule out for maybe the next month or so but i would really like to um, you know, add things to that schedule and different topics uh, that you would like to talk about. All right, so maybe I'll just play us a, uh, a song here, wait for some questions, and I'll play it again. I like to slow down there, by the way, at the end of the intro. I like to slow down there a little bit too.
That's okay. That's okay. Uh, sorry if you don't have any questions. So, Manny, <laughs> thank you, Casey. Thank you very much. Uh, what is Sunday's lesson going to be? We are talking about what is classical music. So a lot of people think that Bach or Chopin or any of these other people are classical composers, and they are not. They are not classical. Uh, a lot of people think that old music is classical music, and that's true in a little fa sense, uh, but not entirely. So we're just going to be going over... Um, you know, what makes a classical composer what it is? What are some of the things that you can listen for in classical music that make classical music what it is? Because there's a lot of them. I have not received any clips yet. I'm going to make like an official video, I think, where I'm going to ask everybody uh you know if they want to uh pitch in and do that i would like to do like a recital this light is killing me <laughs> killing my eyes um i haven't uh received any clips yet uh but that's okay but so if anybody's listening now if you want to submit any clips like um you can email me tim at lessons on the com or message me here and um or on the youtube i mean and uh, any clips of you playing anything like if you've been taking you've been learning from my videos and uh, you want to kind of show off what you're able to do, uh, I would love to have that. So, so I can like compile it together and do like a recital thing where I'll do, you know, this is Shesk's performance, this is Rich's performance, this is Manny's performance, or Molly, or, you know, anybody who's a regular of the stream, or not a regular of the stream. I mean, if you just watch my videos and kind of sit back, uh, Casey, uh, even you, if you feel like doing that, um, that would be awesome. I think that would be a great way to showcase uh, the value of Lessons on the Web, which I forgot to mention when I was doing the intro, uh, that you know, Lessons on the Web's goal is to uh, teach the world piano and music and share that uh, with as many people uh, as we can. But Oh, thank you very much. Uh, oh, more people. Mario... Mario just says piano. Yes, piano, Mario. I agree. Um, and Mario, oh, no, no, no. Um, somebody else says, I've got no questions, but I like your channel, and I think you have a very clear teaching style. Thank you, Jay. Uh, it means a lot to hear from uh, new students, and great that you can make it out tonight. I hope you enjoyed. There are a lot more live streams on the way. Uh, if you go, it's in the description. Like, if you go in the description, you can find everything you need. Uh, but what you want to look for is the community page on my website, Lessons on the Web, and that gives you a, uh, a schedule of, you know, not only when we're meeting, but what the topics will be for the next few live streams. If you, you know, you want to attend a certain one or you want to attend all of them. And then eventually I want to make like a mailing email list where I can email people like as soon as we're streaming uh, to let them know. Because I know YouTube does it, but I don't know like how effective um, that is. Okay, Manny says, changing the tempo of the song, a good thing or bad thing, because I see pianists play often slow down in some parts. Um, it depends if it's appropriate. So like I mentioned before, when I do the beginning of this, it's really appropriate to slow down there, right? Uh, it might even do that in the real song because that's like the end of the outro. Or at the very end of a song, you know, it might be appropriate to s slow down. So it depends. Um, some pianists, and then myself included, if I don't if I don't have a piece practiced enough, parts of it, the difficult parts will slow down, and that's the thing you want to avoid. That means you need to practice that little section of music a little bit more. Um, but So basically, if it fits the style of the music and the part of the music it's in, it works, uh, but basically, if you're if you're slowing down just so you can grab the notes because it's more difficult, that just means you want to work on that piece of music or that part of the music so you can get it up to speed. So there's certain times, yes, and certain times where no, that's not a problem uh, at all. Okay, son Eric, I've seen you before, I believe. You say piano. I agree, piano. Okay, oh, see, mostly I only play flute. 
Um, well, that's all right, Casey. So if you uh, want to uh, pick up the piano, you know you know where to find uh, the lessons for that. And if uh, you need recommendations on a keyboard or something, uh, if you're looking for something like that, uh, please let me know, and I'd be more than happy to direct you to a nice keyboard you can uh, find. All right, so anybody else still watching, I might as well say this since we're all here in the Q&A session. Uh, if you like the video, you know, if you feel like you're learning something either from this Q&A or the lesson portion, you know, give the lesson a thumbs up. It really lets other people know that this is a quality lesson that they can learn from as well. And like I said, the goal is to let other people know about the lessons, and that is a great way to do that. Or if you feel like sharing the video, wonderful stuff um, if you feel like, uh, you know, uh, giving in that way. And... Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, you're welcome, Casey. You're welcome. Not a problem. Great to see you, and you're always, always welcome back, and I would always be glad to help you out uh, with any questions you may have. So have a great one, uh, Casey. I'm still sticking around, uh, but uh, you have a great uh, evening doing your homework, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in one of the other streams. Yeah, you're very welcome, Mario. Very, very welcome. All right, everybody, uh, I'm going to stick around for a few more minutes, you know, see if uh, anybody else has any questions. If not, you know, maybe we'll just end it uh, slightly early tonight. I usually do uh, about an hour, but, you know, I wouldn't mind uh, getting some extra rest, gearing up for the next one on Sunday, which is going to be, like I mentioned, uh, what is classical music? So I, I don't think I'll be able to get anything classical ready for you uh, in that time, but I will play... Maybe some short clips. I think I can get away with that, and I don't think YouTube will ban hammer me too bad, but we'll see. Even playing this Legend of Zelda, I put it at risk a little bit, but uh, hey. Um, supposedly, they're fixing the system with the copyright, but I haven't seen it yet. In fact, I've seen it get way worse. Uh, I, I don't know if you've heard, but somebody made a YouTube video in like 2009 of them playing an NES game, Double Dribble, and they were like showing some sort of glitch in the game. And then Family Guy stole that clip and used it in their show. And then Fox Entertainment flagged the original person's clip, even though it was originally their clip, but because they used it in Family Guy, they said that it was you know copyright and stolen material, even though Family Guy stole it from them first. So that's how crazy uh, the copyright thing can be. Oh, good night, Jay. Good night. So great to see you as well. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up, and uh, always great to have you. If you ever want to come back or check out, you know, the recordings of the stream or attend the streams or, you know, shoot me a question. I would love to hear from you again. So have a great night, and great to see you. <laughs> uh, what are some intermediate classical pieces? Uh, Beethoven sonatas, even though Beethoven, as we, t we will talk about, uh, is a combination of uh, classical and romantic. Um, but really, um, you know, anything like... So this is from the Apothetique Sonata. Oh, I don't remember it quite. <laughs> uh, I can find it, though. I have it, don't I? Don't I have it? Let's see, Beethoven. And then, oh, I don't remember which one of these I should label them better. That's not it. Oh, well, this one too. to see. 
I played that one years ago. I'm not going to play the whole thing. It is like 10 pages long. Keeps going. It's longer than 10 pages. It's like 50 pages long. So yeah, I'm not going to play the rest of that one. Uh, Moonlight Sonata Movement 1. Um, yeah, let's see. If you... Okay, let me go through everybody. Have you actually ha ever had a YouTube video blocked uh, copyright here on YouTube? Yeah, if you go back to my very first lessons, lesson uh, playing the piano level one through level tw well, not level one, but lesson one through level twelve, I play. I don't even remember how to play it. I play like an intro to that. They started for some reason for the first twelve videos it was fine, and then if you notice after that I play a different intro, which is actually part of the B flat blues. Um, that doesn't get flagged because that is uh, something I made up. But I didn't invent the B-flat blues, but, you know, I improvise it, so it's hard for them to flag that. But uh, the other song I did was from a Studio Ghibli film. I don't remember which one. I have that. That's an awesome book. I should show you. Uh, that's a book full. I don't know if you guys are into, into like, Japanese um, culture or, like, Japanese um, films. But uh, films like Porco Rosso, Spirited Away... Uh, a lot of these uh, films are great. Like, I don't know. They're they're for some of them are for kids, but some of them are are great for adults to watch as well. Um, but anyway, I played a song from that, and they flagged it, and they started flagging every video. Then, like, I'd put it up with that intro, and it would get flagged. And then they tell me uh, your intro or whatever uh, was taken from this, and it was like so, it was like the very end of the piece, like the last ten seconds, and they they just have the technology to figure it out. But yeah. It has happened, but it hasn't happened. Oh, no, and then it did happen on... Strangely, it didn't happen on the Star Wars video. Uh, Fur release was okay. Most classical music's okay, but sometimes a corporation will buy the rights to it, so that does create a problem. Uh, there's another one that was a problem. I did Maroon 5. Uh, I don't remember exactly what song, but uh, that one was flagged. Uh, Moonlight Sonata. I can't seem to get it right because of the melody. Uh, we could do that one um, sometime. I think that would be a good video to do. I could probably only do the first page because it's really long, even the first movement. Uh, but yeah, I could do that. We could go over that. But yeah, that's another good example. Very good uh, example there, Shesk. Or not Shesk, Manny. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm a weeb. Okay. I don't know exactly what that is. Maybe I should know. Maybe it's like some kind of eclectic thing that I should know about, uh, but I don't. Okay, everybody, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, so just to let Manny know, we will do Moonlight Sonata sometime this summer, maybe. Remind me. Remind me. Uh, maybe in July, because I wanted to get the 4th of July things done. And I don't think I have anything scheduled after that yet, so maybe we'll do one. Um, Shesk sent me an interesting video. I, th I believe it was Shesk. Shesk or Rich. I think it was Shesk uh, sent me an interesting video on uh, rhythm displacement that I would really like to do a video on. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, and then uh, Moonlight and then, you know, whatever else. Like, remind me back uh, maybe towards the end of June, like all the things you want me to do, and uh, then I'll write that out into the schedule for uh, the rest of the summer. All right, everybody. It was great having everybody out tonight. I think I'm going to end it here. I think we had a great lesson today, uh, learning the Legend of Zelda. So again, I'm going to post uh, the... Well, the, the re whole recording is going to be posted right away. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off the Q&A, and then I'm going to make a video out of that. So if you're looking for the Q&A, wondering where it went, it will be posted uh, shortly after that. Yeah, it was really interesting. I, I learned about that in college, and I totally I haven't put it in any videos or anything, so I think uh, that would be great, great, great topics. 
All right, everybody. So you have a great uh, weekend. It's only Friday. So I will see you at the end of the weekend on Sunday. If you plan on attending that stream, that's Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really have, have anything else to say. This has been Tim from You Know Where uh, teaching You Know What to You Know Who. And, um, you know, just being here helps a lot. Thanks. Thank you so much for being a part of something that I care about um, a whole lot. And uh, it's really great getting to know everybody here. So thanks as always. And I'll talk to you on Sunday or, you know, sometime in the future. You too. Thank you, Manny. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out. Thank you, Manny. Best live stream. I, am I the only, I think I'm the only piano teacher live, live streaming right now. So I think I have a head up on the game, but we'll see. But thank you, Manny. Thank you for the great comment.